Hey guys, what's going on? It's Greggles from Greggles TV. Today I'm going to show you the handheld app launcher, or better known as HAL Launcher. HAL Launcher, as you can see, when I click it, it's going to change the view of the NVIDIA Shield TV interface. The only problem is when you hit home, it changes it again. So it's really more of kind of like what um, this app does right here, the uh, side load launcher. So it does something similar, but you could, this is way more customizable than that. So you get, it puts it into like support handheld, support TV and handheld. Looks like it shows all your apps. Support TV, see how much it shows all your, well, I guess it doesn't just show TV screens because this is a game right there, but you can go into preferences, you can go through your app list, and you can change certain things on here. So this is support handheld, so if you wanted to add or remove something, you can click on it or move it up or down. So you, that way it changes some of the apps that are in here right, right there. You can change the theme, you can put, you can clear something out, image, you can change the color. Who knows what color that is? Hit OK. It's purple. So now let's see if that changes something to purple back here. Oh, there you go. Changes my background to purple. Pretty cool. Um, it's just a good way if you would like to see your apps in a different way, other than the way Android, I mean uh, Nvidia Shield puts them. Uh, it's free, so you don't have to worry about spending money on it. Um, if you hit OS settings, it brings you to your regular settings. How launcher settings you can use app as home app so let's see try that da, 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 da. so I guess you can use this as a launcher lock the orientation of screen we don't want to worry about that let's hit a home button let me choose always wait whoops how launcher and then let's do always so now when I choose my home button, this is my new launcher. So it can be used as a launcher for you if you like this interface better than the NVIDIA Shield one. Um, I think I still prefer the NVIDIA Shield one. This works just as well though and it's more customizable than the NVIDIA Shield one. Um, so you can change, so you don't like, uh, I don't have any images on here, but Say you want to change the uh, color of the sidebars. Let's change the color of that. Change that to a darker red. A brighter red, I should say, a brighter green, and then a brighter blue. Because right now it's on that nasty looking color. Changes it to turquoise. Ooh, now look at it. Ooh, it's so pretty. Recent apps. You have, looks like you have to add apps now. Because if I add, let's say I open up Spotify. I got Spotify open. I'm going to hit the back button. And there it goes. Shows your most recent apps that you've opened. Let's try to open up Chrome. Hit the back button. Oh my God. Hit the home button. Screw it. So it's kind of cool that you don't get that in the NVIDIA Shield. That's one nice perk is that you don't have to go looking for your most recent apps that you've opened. It just shows it right there. Um, other than that, like I said, it's very customizable. You can create a shortcut. Web app, tell, mail, advanced. So you can set different um, shortcuts. Highly customized. You can... APK transfer, so connect to the same Wi-Fi network as the device. You want to send the APK, open APK transfer on both devices, select discover, accept the connection, select one app and send. So you can send APKs between devices. I haven't tried this out. To me, it's not super interesting. I can do that with my uh, ES File Explorer. So, All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the HAL Launcher. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for watching.